So tonight, this little Northsider finds herself on the south side in one of the most famous rugby pubs, Kylie's of Donnybrook. Now, this is a great place to wet your whistle before you, you know, cheer on the boys in blue. So, as Russell Carroll Kelly would say, it's going to be like Toad's Amazeballs. Let's see how Kylie's does Fridays. No, 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 Enjoying it so far? Yeah, it's good all night. Good all night, yeah. Come here because of the. It's good for families. It's good for elderly gentlemen like us. Young people come here. It's a nice atmosphere. Yeah, it's nice and central. Um, it's got a bit of a buzz going on tonight, and it's local to the restaurant we're going to later on. So we've had great feedback from our website DublinDoesFridays.ie, and we've helped loads of people have great fun in their local Dublin pub with our buzz maps. So you got to check it out. Get onto our Facebook page; it's always open, or you can tweet us all the gossip because I love a bit of gossip at DDF. Tell me what's going on. So on tonight's show, we have a great show. We have hilarious comedian Garod Farley, who is a fellow Northsider. Woohoo! And we have some more pub facts. So as it's Oscar week, we sent Aaron Heffernan round the Dublin pubs to chat to some movie buffs. Here's what he found. Welcome to Kylie's. Welcome to Kylie's. Welcome to Kylie's for snow TV. You're having me on, aren't you? Who are they? Snug TV. Hey guys, I'm Aaron Heffernan and tonight I'm in the pubs of Dublin in honour of Oscar week to find out what people think about films. What is your favourite film, Mario? Goodfellas. Probably Dirty Dancing, yeah. From a long time ago. I have the time of my life. On the Waterfront by Smart Run the Film by Alia Kazan. Jeff, best worst sexiest, go. Best, Christian Bale, great movies, good actor, worst Anne Hathaway, she's totally irritating. And sexiest Ava Mendes because she's really, really hot. The sexiest Cameron Diaz. The best is either Morgan Freeman stroke Al Pacino. Uh, the worst Sarah Jessica Barker. Sexiest Russell Crowe. Fair. Worst hate Sandra Bullock. Best. Uh, De Niro, Robert De Niro. Least favorite actor. Do you know who that might be? Ken in Coronation Street. <laughs> So how much is he getting paid for that? Really? You serious? No way. Listen, I'm going to call my agent when I get one. We're on one. So, next up, uh, Groot Farrelly, great comedian and fellow Northsider. Yay, here you are. No. You're not a real Northsider, you're about oil. That is totally posh. North Side. That is posh. so not push. No way. People used to there come to my even... school on a horse. There... <laughs> tell, us, um, tell us about your local. Where is your local? Um, I've got... I've got I live in Ringsend now. Oh yeah. Oh, I've never yeah. really been. Yeah, it's still Northside. Is it though? It's Northside. It's Northside for the Southside. It is. It is. Yeah. <laughs> but um, but my like my old locals would be back at the, either the Willows or the Audubon. Me, glass and and fingers. Oh, very good. Yeah, I mean, like like I'm in pubs the whole time with like comedy. You're always in fact, pubs. In fact, sometimes when you go out to like socially, it's something to get me heart racing. I'm <laughs> going. I wonder what these people think of me. <laughs> <laughs> You know, Dublin pubs, they're so unique. Why do you think that is? Well, I think that in Dublin, people actually like the pub they go to. Yeah. Because it's not like, you know, like the Colchies, they just go to It's not to like, like the, let me, let me translate, it's not like the people from the country. Colchies? They, they just go to like whatever pub is near the haystack they rolled off. <laughs> Don't they? They've no choice. And that's why sometimes, you know when you go into a Colchie pub, oh! and everyone turns around. Country pub. Everyone turns around and he looks at He has a stammer, by the way. Con uh, when you go into a country pub, like uh, everyone, they like they turn around and look at you because you're interrupting them, aren't you? You know, they're all like real quiet, just sitting at the drink, yeah. and then you you come in like, where's the jack? <laughs> I mean, we can be quite cynical, but we're great crack, aren't we, Dubs? Yeah, totally. That's why we're the capital. So great. You're going to stick around for this game that we yeah. have. Yeah, great yeah. game. Win it's it. called. Yeah, we are going to win it. It's Northsider versus Southsider. Give me some of that. Yeah. Mm, okay. Scaldy. But I need to find some know-it-all Southsider. Um. To. You happy you're in the real show? The real show. The real show. Hello, Jennifer. Would be nice. Aaron, even. Hello. Hi, Aaron. 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 <laughs> Is that nice? You got some chicken. No, I don't want chicken. 
Okay, you better win. I so, will. here we go. First question. Are you ready? Yep. If I had a rope and a lamppost and a jacket, what would I have? On the north side. <gasps> Anywhere, yeah. What would I have? Um, a good night. Oh, you're wrong. Garage, okay. Are you ready? If I was on the dart, yeah. what would I be on? You'd be on a train. Yes, come on the north side! <laughs> Sorry about that. You guys. Okay, if I was going for a one-on-one, -on -one, what would I be getting? Um, Chinese Segway. Oh, that's a wrong answer. <laughs> okay. If I was praising, like totally, oh my God, B-O-D, who would I think God is? B-O-D, it's Amy Huberman's husband. Yes! <laughs> it is Amy Huberman's husband. Brian O'Driscoll. Yes, it is! <laughs> Yeah, Good answer. Nation, yeah, we're all very happy. Okay, if I was a, if a north sider was off to the bats, I'm off to the bats. Where would I be going? Uh, oh, Sweden. The oh, it's the wrong answer. <laughs> well, it's pretty obvious. The north sider wins. So there you have it. That's Snug TV's commitment for bringing communities together. But I'm so north side, right? I don't even have to ask for chicken balls and chips when I go to the Chinese. All I have to do is this. Ooh yeah. TV. Shut up. <laughs> so, yeah, I had to text back Sammy Davis Jr. saying, I don't want to be involved, it's too expensive. Tell Frankie and the lads I'm out. Well, you can't even text, you've got no thumbs. Hi, welcome back to Aaron Heffernan's Dublin Pub Facts. Now, we all know that Dublin pubs have been a place of debate, of argument, and of creativity for years and years. Places such as Harry Burns, which is located in Clonturf, which was the local of Bram Stoker, who created Dracula. And he used to drink Bloody Mary. Is this, uh, is this true? Is this real? Is someone calling me? It apparently it is, but if it's not, I'm gonna have you fired. On to the Bernard Shaw, which was named after George Bernard Shaw, the only man in history to have won both the Nobel Prize for Literature and an Oscar for the film Pygmalion, which was based on his play, which is delish. Good job, Georgie. Davy Burns is 100 years old. It's one of the most well-known pubs in the city, in the country. It's mentioned in Joyce's novels, Ulysses, Dubliners, you name it. James Joyce used to enjoy a drink and chat to the original Davy Byrne and the pilgrimages of the James Joyce fanatics on Bloomsday. They go there as well to check out the Gorgonzola sandwich, which is mentioned in Ulysses. I happen to have one right here. This is for Leopold Bloom. Here we go. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Is, is this cheese? I ha I'm, well, I'm not so tolerant. I thought, Gorg I thought Gorgonzola was like a Highlander or something. Oh God! So there you go, Dublin pubs just keep on giving. Next week we're heading down the coast of Malahide to check out the locals there in Gibneys and see how they do Fridays. But get on to our webpage, it's dubliners.fridays.ie and see what's going on in your local. You come to Gibneys? Yeah. Great! See you on the north side.